Hello everyone, and welcome to this very wet day at the Rock Hill Trolley Museum. Behind me is a York Railway Company streetcar built in 1924. This is fairly standard fare for a trolley museum. Usually the cars at this sort of museum are quite old. This one is, if I'm doing the math right, 98 years old. I like, I do like that. Yes, I do like that very much. These sorts of museums preserve what it was like to take transit long ago in the past, before most of us were alive. Back then the advertisements looked very different. The seats were heated, and the stop request cable hung in the middle of the car, like so. Will I get in trouble if I pull this? Right now, no. <laughs> Sweet. Update. Turns out that's actually a conductor's cable, not a stop request cable, but it's still pretty awesome. But here in the car barn is something a bit newer. This is a Siemens U2 light rail vehicle from San Diego, built in 1982. This car was built in 1982, and in uh, 2013 they were getting new cars in to replace these, and there's a fleet, I think of about 50, that they were uh, modernizing, and the broker that was in charge of selling them convinced them to donate one car to an East Coast Museum and one car to a West Coast Museum. So we got the car for nothing, but it cost us $40,000 to get it here. It's a Siemens uh, 1982 model. And it's, San Diego was one of the first big cities to get back in, into uh, rail transit. Let's have a look inside. It definitely smells like an older light rail vehicle. Here's the cab. I switched to my phone because the camera can't really do the inside. Now, are these the same advertisements that were in the car when you got it? Yes. Interesting. This definitely feels kind of eerie because, you know, just a couple years ago, I would have been able to ride on this in active service in a city I've been to in a previous video. You've even got the uh, almost up to date service map. But now, it's in a shed parked next to this thing, whatever this is. This car is a part of transit history that I actually lived through. I just turned 24, and uh, it's interesting to think that I've been alive long enough that cars I could have ridden are now in a museum. I wonder, as my life goes on, what other transit vehicles that I might have ridden will end up in museums like this. And, as someone who's into transit, maybe there's a role for me in helping decide what gets preserved. Like, will Philadelphia's K cars be preserved in the near future? Or uh, other eminently replaceable vehicles like that? Do you think as we move forward, trolley museums are gonna be preserving more modern light rail vehicles? Oh, I think so. I, I think so. What we try to do here, we got about 23 cars in the collection, and what we're trying to do is, is run the, the full full span of, of the oldest to the newest in the museum, so that you have a, a complete collection of, of uh, you know what's around and what's available. So, so that, that that is the main reason for acquiring. When we got a chance to acquire the car, and we jumped on it because it just fits in. You know, well here's how it started, here's how it is. So I guess the takeaway here is that museums are for both the long gone past and the recent past. And for those of us who have lived through the recent past, we have a responsibility to be part of its preservation. And then, of course, there's the future. These cars belong to the experimental pop-up metro, which is a revolutionary, apparently, new way of building rapid transit by fixing battery power to former London underground cars. As the sales pitch goes, all you need is a battery-powered train, some lightly used freight tracks, and a pop-up little platform, and you got yourself a pop-up metro. Okay, I gotta say this feels like a train platform from Ikea. Like, everything is lightweight and kind of bolted together. 
not the most comfortable or ideal situation, but it's decent. Anyways, there you have it. The long gone past, recent past, and potential near future of rapid transit. But I have waxed soliloquous enough in this video. So take care. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.